You know what the Beatles did? When they got back to England after their first whirlwind tour of America? I imagine they all went to their doctor and got a shot of penicillin in their dicks. Yeah, sure, but after that. They recorded their next album. That they did. One every six months, in fact. So instead of basking in their victory, they consolidated it. They were young, and there was only upside in pressing their advantage. There's always only upside in pressing your advantage. That's the whole point of having an advantage to press, which we finally do. So we're getting out of selling shoes, going on a raise. We're doing a massive cap raise, and quickly. 20 bill within six months, but we position ourselves as the buyer. We make them beg us to take their money, just like we did back in 2015. This isn't them. It's not a very windy thing to say. But accurate. Look, this is really good for all of us, especially you, Tater. You've never been on a race. This is the other half of the job. And the results that we've generated are the seeds. And the horseshit we will spew is the fertilizer. Horseshit works. But it doesn't get rid of the weeds. By which you mean our recent history, our legal troubles, all of which are in the past. I'm saying if I were on the other side of the table, I'd have questions and reservations. Where's the rah-rah shit to counter this? Taylor, when you come with us, you will see that this man parries those questions, like Charles Van Doren. Van Doren was fed the answers. But he got the money, as will we. And that's all that matters. <laughs>